And uh, so we are happy to present uh, Ningguo from uh, Orsay. He's going to talk about uh, content XR conjecture over valuation links. Please go ahead. Uh, okay. Uh, th uh, thanks for the organizers uh, to give the opportunity. Uh, today, I will talk about uh, the golden cell conjecture or valuation rings. Uh, this conjecture uh, concerns about tosses and the reductive group scheme. So first, let us uh, uh, recall uh, the reduct uh, reductive group scheme over ring R. So this is a uh, uh, R-affine smooth group scheme whose every geometric fiber over R uh, is con connected and uh, each geometric fiber has no normal subgroup only extended by uh, additive subgroups. Uh, so th this is also the, the reductive condition for, uh, redu uh, for group schemes over field. Uh, and the G uh, over, over ring R uh, is an R scheme. Uh, and the FPQC locally isomorphic to G with a uh, simply transitive G action. So here, simply transitive also means that uh, the canonical mic uh, given by G action is an isomorphism. So this is the uh, definition of a G tosser. Uh, in our case, because we are considering reductive, reductive group schemes, which are uh, smooth, smooth over the base. So, so in our case, uh, it is R smooth. So the tosser is isomorphic to the group scheme it, it does locally. So we can uh, give the notation. We denote uh, the, uh, this FPQC cohomology set to be the set of uh, isomorphic classes of G tosers over R. And then it is also the Edal cohomology pointed set. So uh, we will use such notation, notation uh, here. Uh, the golden Dijkstra con conjecture uh, is proposed uh, by golden Dijkstra in uh, 1958. Uh, first, we consider a regular local ring and uh, the fraction field of R. And the G, a re reductive group scheme over, over R. This conjecture uh, predicts that uh, there is no non-trivial tosser under G over R trivializes over the friction field. Uh, or equivalently, uh, this map between the, the pointed uh, sets of non-abelian adult cohomology uh, has trivial kernel. Uh, this kernel is trivial, uh, but by uh, twisting technique, we, we can uh, obtain a stronger form uh, we can we can try to uh, prove that is uh, uh, also a uh, injective map, <clears throat> and uh, over over uh, over the decades, um, many people and many authors have studied about this conjecture uh, for the history. So first, uh, uh, when when G is a torus, uh, it was proved by Collet uh, Lang and Sensuik in nineteen. Uh, 87 by using flask resolution uh, and uh, and uh, and this case is very important for for the further cases and in many other uh, proofs uh, uh, as a fundamental uh, case and uh, for the one dimensional case it was settled by Nisnevich in his phd thesis uh, he used the hardest weak approximation and some unpublished the t, uh, t, uh, theorem of teeth by using a uh, Brohat T theory. And uh, for the two dimensional case and the G is quasi split, uh, it's also proved by uh, Nisnevich. Uh, and recently, uh, Pannin and the federal of Pannin, uh, they proved the case when R contains a field uh, by using. Um, some techniques of uh, nice triples and uh, affine Grassmannians. And uh, they also wrote some papers. For example, Fedlov wrote a paper uh, to simplify the proof and the pattern wrote a uh, well-structured uh, articles recently. <laughs> and uh, uh, this year, uh, Chesnevich's 
uh, he proved the, the case when when the G is uh, when G is quasi split, uh, which means it contains a Borel subgroup, and uh, R is unramified. Uh, here, uh, unramified means that uh, either either R contains a field, so this is a equal characteristic case, and uh, or in the mixed characteristic case. Uh, okay, so. So the mix the characteristic is a uh, zero p, uh, p uh, is the characteristic of the residue field, but the p is not in the square of the maximal ideal. So this this uh, what uh, Armified means. Uh, he used uh, some uh, Bertini type theorems by uh, under under cutting by uh, hyperplanes to reduce to reduce the conjecture to the lower dimensional case, and he also. Uh, Give an analysis of torsos over affine lines, uh, and there are uh, other authors for uh, sporadic cases, and there are so many uh, authors uh, for for some special cases. Uh, today, uh, we consider the variant of a golden dick conjecture over valuation rings. Uh, so, uh, here is our uh, mean result. Uh, our main result is that uh, for a reductive group scheme G over valuation ring, uh, there is no non-trivial uh, G torsors over V trivializes over the fraction field of V. Uh, or in other words, this map is uh, injective. Uh, in fact, uh, this variant is expected because of the falling consequence of a resolution of singularities. Uh, the resolution of singularities has a special case, uh, which is the Zariski's uniformization conjecture. Uh, it predicts that uh, every valuation ring is a filtered direct limit of uh, regular local rings. Uh, so uh, if the conjecture is true, we can write uh, the valuation ring as a filtered direct limit of a regular local ring. So by the limit argument, we can write uh, this cohomology site as the filter direct limit of cohomology about uh, regular local rings and the similar for the fraction field. So uh, if the conjecture is true, by a li limit, limit argument, we can reduce the, the, our mean result to the original groton dick cell conjecture. So in conclusion, uh, <coughs> these two open uh, conjectures uh, imply our mean result. So uh, somehow it uh, motivates our mean result because it's predicted by two open conjectures. Uh, now, before uh, before we uh, go, uh, go on the proof, uh, we first uh, uh, recall or, or uh, study the, the geometry of valuation rings. So, uh, the first is about the definition of valuation rings. Um, a valuation ring, uh, is a subring of a field K. For example, uh, V is a is a subring of a field uh, such that for for each element in in the in the field. Uh, either is this element is already in V, uh, or its inverse is in V, or both. So this definition is uh, quite simple, but uh, in fact, uh, it, uh, valuation rings has more delicate structure. Uh, for example, there is a valuation map, and the notion for uh, for the value group. Uh, there ex uh, exists uh, a valuation map from the valuation ring uh, to gamma uh, with union of infinity, where gamma is a ordered abiding group. And the infinity is just a, a symbol to uh, uh, to specify some element uh, which is uh, larger than any any element in gamma. And uh, and uh, this 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 gamma is called the value group of uh, V. And uh, 
there is also the notion of rank. Uh, there is a very simple definition of the rank. The rank of V is just uh, the crew dimension of V. But uh, it is also uh, determined by the value group, in fact. Uh, we can, we can uh, consider the notion of a convex group of subgroup of a value group. And uh, there are some, uh, and, and the convex subgroups of the value group are totally ordered and the ordinal is the rank. But uh, here we, we, we only need to know uh, uh, the rank is de defined by the crew dimension. And the, sp and the spectrum of a valuation ring uh, is uh, like a linear, a linear uh, picture. For example, if, if the rank is finite, uh, then the, the spectrum is just uh, some finite dots. Uh, and uh, each dot represents a prime ideal. Uh, for example, uh, this dot represents the zero ideal. And uh, this dot represents uh, the prime ideal of height one. And uh, similarly, a prime of height two. And uh, this is the maximum ideal. If the if the rank is n, uh, okay, uh, this is the prime of height n minus one. And the specialization uh, is linear, and uh, so this is the the structure of the uh, spectrum of evaluation ring of finite rank. But uh, if the rank is infinite, uh, there are some more uh, comp complicated uh, picture like. Uh, but uh, it is still linear. Uh, for example, uh, maybe it, it, it has such a, a form. Uh, there are infinitely many dots, uh, and converges to the uh, to to the zero ideal. It's, it's like uh, with the coordinate one over n. So there are so many uh, many prime ideals. But uh, in our case, we can use limit argument to reduce the infinite rank uh, case to the finite rank case. So, uh, so, so this, this picture is more important. And uh, <coughs> to prove the golden stack conjecture over valuation ring case, uh, there are some subtleties. Uh, for example, uh, uh, even in the case of a tori, uh, the method of uh, a line and a sensuic does not apply because uh, there uh, should be a short exact sequence, but this short exact sequence uh, does not hold for non notarian uh, base. So here S is, uh, so they, they use the exact sequence where S is a local regular scheme and eta is a, a gen generic point. And in general case, uh, this exact sequence is only uh, left exact, but not uh, right exact. And the second point is that uh, for the higher rank evaluation rings, it, it is harder to do a uh, harder weak approximation. Uh, so, so first uh, let us recall what harder do. Uh, <coughs> harder uh, in his article, uh, he proved that uh, for a semi-simple group or field, uh, which equipped with finitely many rank one valuations. So we can consider the regional points uh, via the, the diagonal embedding into the product of uh, completion points and take uh, the closure. You can take the closure. He proved that uh, this closure contains an uh, open normal subgroup, uh, which means, which, which means uh, the diagonal, the image of a diagonal map is really large. So Nisnevich, in his Nisnevich paper, uh, he, he used uh, harder speak approximation to obtain a product formula uh, like, like this, where R is a DVR. <coughs> but, but now uh, we want to consider the higher rank case. Uh, harder only, only uh, consider the, the, the rank one case. So uh, we, we need to use other, uh, other uh, technique. Uh, <coughs> The, st the strategy uh, is the folding. Uh, so first, uh, mm, we prove the case of a tori. Uh, by using flask resolution.
uh, and the local cohomology. And uh, then uh, we try to reduce to the case when the valuation ring is Hanselian of rank one. So uh, we, we reduce to uh, Hanselian rank one case. The advantage of uh, being Hanselian uh, is that uh, is is that uh, Brohart theory uh, is exactly useful over Hanselian valued field. So so being Hanselian is really important. Uh, and after that, we we further reduce to us further reduce to uh, the when the group is semi simple and anisotropic. Anisotropic means that uh, uh, the group contains no copy of the multiplicative group. Uh, there is no GM in, in, in such group. And uh, finally, we, we give a final proof by using a technique of Bruha T theory. In today's talk, I will uh, give a more, pre a more uh, concrete uh, step for, for the first two steps because the, uh, the first two are essential and, uh, and the, the second and the fourth is a little uh, kind of uh, classical. So uh, first uh, we begin with the case of a tori. Mm. The case of a tor uh, for the case of a tori, we use the flask resolution uh, because in quality line and the sense paper, paper, they uh, construct a flask resolution over arbitrary base. So we can also use uh, the flask resolution in our case. Uh, so we first recall a uh, quasi trivial torus, uh, it is a product of uh, the restriction of GM. Uh, here, S i over S uh, are finite adult connected, and uh, a flask torus, flask torus uh, satisfies the following condition: for every connected Galois cover S prime over S, uh, we consider the relative character lattice defined by the homomorphism uh, of the base change to 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 the uh, multiplicative group. So. So, so the flask the torus is that uh, he, its uh, character lattice must uh, satisfy this vanishing condition. So this uh, cohomological vanishing condition uh, for, for each Q of this form. So here, uh, this is the Galois group and this is the relative character lattice and the Q is of this form is the direct sum of uh, uh, the, the module generated by cosets. Here, H i are just the uh, subgroups of uh, Galois group. So this is the definition of uh, flask and uh, quasi uh, trivial torus, and the flask resolution is of this form. Uh, it's a short exact sequence. Here, T is an arbitrary torus. So uh, flask resolution is, is it means that every every torus can be realized uh, quotient by uh, quotient. Uh, from the quasi trivial torus with the kernel flask <clears throat> so how to uh, how to use flask uh, resolution to prove uh, in fact uh, uh, we have we have the following basic fact so here is, is the key point uh, for for the galois extension of valuation rings uh, we have we have this fact they, they have the same uh, value groups so, so the Galois action on the value group is trivial. So we can we can view the Galois, uh, the, the value group as Q above. So, so it's a um, special case of Q. So, so we can uh, we can uh, uh, plug this value group here, and uh, and we obtain a basic ex example uh, for every flask uh, torus f. Uh, this Cohomology is trivial for every uh, for, for for the Galois group. So so this is is the basic uh, basic uh, example uh, to prove. So this vanishing in fact leads to uh, our lemma. 
for evaluation for evaluation ring V and a uh, flask V torus F. Uh, the local cohomology is trivial. Oh, so here, uh, in fact, uh, it is a finite rank. Roughly speaking. <clears throat> so uh, how this uh, how this basic example uh, imply this lemma? That is because uh, when when we try to calculate that, we we use local to global spec spectral sequence. Uh, this is the local global spectral sequence. Uh, here, here x uh, is the spectrum of v, and z is the closed point. And uh, and this this is the the sheaf sheafification sheafification uh, of of some uh, adult sheaf a uh, pre sheaf is defined by uh, for every x prime over s, which is uh, a tal, and uh, we, 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 we map x prime to uh, h uh, z prime q x prime f, uh, where z prime is the pre-image of z in x prime. So it, th this is the shiftification of the uh, adult shift, uh, adult pre-shift. Uh, so here is the local glo to global spectral sequence. So we, we calculate this by by this uh, spectral sequence. So uh, so to calculate, there are there are uh, three kind uh, three uh, components: uh, two zero uh, one one uh, zero two. But uh, these two, uh, these two components are trivial. Uh, for very uh, very sim simple reason, uh, the the essential part is the one one case. It, it's just uh, uh, this case. So the key part is uh, this component. We calculate it that locally. We calculate this it that locally. So it that locally, it is this. It's uh, again the local uh, the the exact sequence of a local cohomology. Uh, it's just a. a Calculation, but the, the key point is that the global section can be written into uh, uh, some some tensor pro product with called character lattice with uh, with the unit uh, the group of units, and uh, to realize it uh, as a quotient. So 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 this this group uh, is is a homomorphism from uh, the the character character lattice to the quotient. But the quotient is just uh, the value group, so that that is uh, what what uh, what uh, where we use this basic fact. So so now we can prove the uh, local cohomology is trivial uh, by cutting off the closed point and the induction. We can prove the uh, this proposition. This proposition is the case of Tori. Uh, for every torus over valuation ring, uh, uh, this uh, this map is injective. And uh, in in the uh, in the procedure of the proof, we can also prove that uh, for every flask torus f over valuation ring, uh, the torus over v uh, is one to one correspondence to the torus over the fraction fraction field. So so this is a one to one correspondence, and the uh, and we also prove that the second cohomology is injective. I mean, the map between the second cohomology set. And it also implies uh, the in injective map uh, between uh, broad groups. Uh, OK, uh, so uh, after we prove the case of a Tori, uh, we can reduce to the Hanselli rank one case. In fact, uh, in this reduction, we also use the case of a Tori. So, 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 the, uh, so I mean, the, the order cannot be permuted. Cannot be permuted. Uh, <clears throat> okay. Uh, so our goal is to prove the Grothendieck stack conjecture. Uh, the Grothendieck stack conjecture over validation ring uh, uh, is it, it means that uh, for a tosser. Uh, over valuation ring. If it's a trivial over the fraction field, then we want to prove it is a trivial over the valuation ring. So we start from a G tosser X over V. 
that is at that is trivial over the fraction field. Uh, we we want to show that uh, it is trivial. Uh, in other words, it has a section over v. So so it's uh, equivalent to what what the Gordon Sack conjecture or validation ring says. Uh, to prove the uh, to prove this, we use the induction method. Uh, the point is that uh, after limit argument, we uh, reduce to the finite run case. Uh, so, so there are finitely many uh, prime ideals. The induction, uh, the induction hypothesis is, is the following. We assume the golden cell conjecture is true for, for the rank of uh, n minus one. So, uh, So, so here it is rank. Uh, the rank is n. We assume assume is true for for the rank is n minus one. We also assume it is true for the one uh, rank one uh, rank one case, but uh, should be Hasselian. We assume these two uh, two two cases, and uh, <coughs> and how how to obtain the valuation rings of rank n minus one or valuation ring of uh, height one. Uh, and Hanselian. Uh, in fact, uh, we, we use some element here. Uh, we take some element in the maximal uh, ideal, but A is not in the prime ideal of height, height, height n minus one. Here, here height P is a uh, minus one. So if we take, uh, take uh, the power of a, then it uh, it converges to to the prime p. So uh, uh, in in uh, in conclusion, if we take uh, the a at completion of v, then it is rank uh, one. So uh, if we take a uh, completion, so this is the spectrum of the a at completion. And on the other hand, we can take uh, mm, a inverse. We, we, can, we can add a inverse in the valuation ring. It's also a valuation ring. It's a valuation ring of height uh, uh, of rank n minus one. So it is that part. We uh, we use uh, such element uh, to uh, to obtain a valuation ring of lower rank, and we consider such diagram. So so here is is the AI completion, and here is uh, the localization, and in fact if we take uh, the uh, if we add uh, a inverse in in the AI completion, it is also the AI completion of 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 this. Uh, so this there, I mean this diagram commutes. <coughs> okay, uh, so uh, we now we have such uh, induction hypothesis, and uh, we also have a G tosser over V trivializes over the frag, uh, frag fraction field. So this point, this is this is the fraction field. Fraction field of V. So there is a section here, and by by the golden exact conjecture uh, for the rank n minus one. So so this is uh, uh, rank n minus one. So we obtain a section as one, and this this section as one specializes to uh, uh, to a section here. Uh, for example, as as prime. Uh, so, so this is the fiber over spectrum of uh, this, this guy. Oh, okay. This is the tosser, uh, tosser uh, base change to, to this. This is the tosser base change to, to, to this. Uh, okay, and uh, we, because we, we also have the uh, hypothesis for the rank one case, uh, there is also a section uh, as two, uh, but the point is that uh, the, the point is that uh, the image of S one and the S two in the in, in the in the in the middle fiber um, may be the different 
I, I mean, uh, uh, maybe the, their image uh, are different. So, so, uh, so what we want to do to do is to uh, translate S one and S two by by group elements, because because this torsor is trivial. So it is also, uh, I mean, if we take the rational point. We use uh, we use the rational point to translate uh, uh, the rational point is uh, uh, this. We want to use the rational point to translate uh, if we if we find a uh, G one uh, in in that group and uh, G two in that group such such that uh, the G G one action on the S one and the G two action uh, on the S two after translation, they have the same image. Uh, then we can we can glue these two sections to a global section. So we are done. Uh, uh, and uh, and we uh, that that is what we want to do, to do. And uh, and uh, we translated uh, translated this procedure into the following uh, proposition. Uh, in fact, it is proved. Uh, it is uh, provided by the proposition here. Uh, the product formula. Uh, this this prof uh, product formula says that uh, the rational points over the uh, the middle fiber is is the product of the the integral points. Uh, product of integral points, and uh, we should note that uh, this is uh, not a field; it's uh, quite a large. Uh, it's a valuation ring point. Uh, rank a metal rank. So the so our question is uh, our question is that uh, uh, is group is really uh, large enough because uh, we have the product formula we want to pro prove the product formula uh, so that means that it is uh, really really large uh, to prove. To prove this really large, uh, in fact, we need a harder types uh, weak approximation. Uh, this is the following uh, proposition. Uh, if we consider the map uh, from from the VA inverse point to the fraction field of uh, AID completion, uh, then the closure of the image contains the open normal subgroup of of, of the later later part. Uh, this this is what we prove. So this harder type of uh, harder type of weak approximation prove that uh, this this part is really large and imply this uh, product formula. And uh, mm, as uh, some other articles do uh, for the weak approximation, uh, we usually consider maximal tori. Uh, we first uh, establish some approximation results for maximal tori. And try to uh, combine these results to obtain the weak, pro uh, weak approximation for the the whole group. Uh, so so what we we are doing is the similar. So uh, so so this proposition is, is what we want to do for the maximal torus. Uh, for the functor uh, which uh, parametrizes the maximal tori of uh, of the g uh, based change to s. Then uh, this map is dense. So because uh, uh, this functor is representable by a, uh, by a scheme, which is uh, which is affine, uh, we can also uh, induce uh, induce some uh, topology on that. Uh, we can talk about the topology and uh, talk about what is dense. Uh, so this map is dense uh, with with respect to uh, aidic uh, topology. And, and uh, when we try to prove uh, this is uh, uh, this map is dense, we use some techniques of uh, algebraization. Uh, the algebraization is uh, this part is uh, written uh, written in uh, Jason Navich's uh, and um, uh, Putier's paper, and uh, <coughs> we consider uh, such a short exact sequence. Uh, here, uh, this pair is a Zariski pair. But uh, but the detail is uh, is uh, really uh, is uh, a little complicated. Uh, 
so uh, so here I I, I post uh, the following lemma. In fact, uh, this this lemma uh, combined with algebraization can imply this can can imply this uh, approximation for maximal torus. Uh, this lemma is that uh, for a local for a local ring R with the fraction uh, with the residue field kappa, and we consider a reductive group scheme G over over R. If the cardinality of the residue field is is, is large enough, I mean it's a large a la, uh, not a, not a smaller than the dimension of the the uh, of the joint quotient. Uh, then this map is subjective, uh, which means uh, every uh, maximal torus over the rest of the field can be lifted to, to a global uh, maximal torus. In fact, uh, this, this, this lifting result strengthens the ex uh, existence theorem. Uh, he uh, proved uh, the similar result in SG3, but uh, he, he is only for uh, existence. A key proof that uh, maximal torus of uh, reductive group schemes exist uh, directly locally. Uh, so for the, for for this lemma, in fact, uh, uh, we we need to uh, try uh, first to try to uh, uh, generalize the notion of a regular section and uh, the regular locus, and uh, in fact the regular locus is open. So so so. Somehow we can uh, extend the regular section, and the, in fact the regular sections corresponds to maximal uh, maximal torus. So we can uh, by lifting uh, regular section to lift the maximal torus, and uh, and then uh, we can we can prove uh, this proposition. Uh, in fact, uh, this Sorry, proposition. I'm confused. Sorry, uh, I mean the thing with with uh, with the regular elements of the algebra. The way to, to get a torus is to take the centralizer, right, or the co or the connected part of the centralizer. No, is not what you want. What you do? Ah, what I want to do is uh, to uh, lift a regular element in the in the re uh, in the special fiber to a regular section. A regular element of the algebra, okay? Yeah, yeah, a Cartan algebra. Regular element of the Lie algebras. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And then, okay, you can lift them. Mm. Uh, under your conditions, so I believe that. And then mm. to to accept to 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 get to right, you 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 take you take a kind of centralizer, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yes, we we need to. I mean, this, some this is not an integration. Of of I mean, yeah, yeah. We need, the, uh, yeah, we need to obtain some uh, Cartan subalgebra by taking the yeah, centralizer for that. Yes, that's the centralizer of a regular element. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Yes. Mm. Okay, mm. but sorry, but you did not precise that uh, you, you, you are considering Lie algebras, okay? Uh, yeah, uh, because regular uh, element makes sense also uh, for groups, okay? Yeah, yeah. So yeah. that's the reason why I. Okay. Uh, okay. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you. Uh, yes. Uh, in fact, uh, in fact, to lift uh, regular elements, in fact, it's uh, for for the uh, for the level of Lie algebra, and we take the we take the centralizer of uh, regular elements. To obtain some Cartan subalgebra, and uh, this Cartan subalgebra corresponds co corresponds to some uh, subgroup of type C, and the subgroup of type C corresponds to uh, maximal torus. Uh, okay, and uh, and by algebraization, we can prove uh, we, we can prove uh, this proposition, which means that uh, for for each maximal torus uh, over over the fraction field of uh, AI the completion. Uh, we can use a maximal torus over over this guy to approximate that. So so finally, uh, this lifting of maximal torus uh, gave uh, this uh, approximation of maximal torus, and uh, this gives uh, us the a harder type of weak approximation. And this harder type of weak formation gave us the, uh, the the product formula. And this product uh, by the by the product formula, we can use uh, the uh, induction hypothesis to reduce to the case of of height uh, of, of rank one. 
and Hanselian case. So, so that that is uh, uh, the the second part. Uh, okay. And uh, on the other hand, uh, in fact, uh, uh, we we, all, we we also prove uh, the following result. Uh, a reductive group is uh, an we, we, uh, we recall that a reductive group is an isotropic if it contains no copy of a GM. And the proposition is that uh, for an, an isotropic reductive group scheme G uh, over evaluation ring. Okay, that should be Hanselian. Uh, over Hanselian valuation ring. Uh, then the rational point is the integral point. Uh, it, it's like a, a, a com compactness property. So, so to prove this, uh, we use some some result of Macaulay. Macaulay's uh, result. He proved uh, he proved uh, the case for the complete case. His proof is uh, for the complete case. And from the complete case to reduce the Hanselian case, we also use the technique for uh, technique of algebraization. And we also uh, generalize the result of uh, GIL. Mm. So the proposition is that uh, uh, if we consider a Hanselian valuation ring and the fraction field of the valuation ring K, and the G is a semi-simple, simply connected group over the valuation ring, uh, such that such that the special fiber is isotropic. And we also consider uh, a such group generated by uh, the rational point of a subgroup uh, which isomorphic to additive group. Uh, then we have this uh, product uh, formula. So, so this is this is a, a generalization of uh, of Gilles uh, Nisserti's paper. And uh, okay, we have some time, so so uh, let let me uh, just sketch the the third and the four the four, the last proof. Of <clears throat> okay, uh, for the for the third step. To reduce to the semi-simple anisotropic case, uh, in fact, we can uh, quotient by the group, uh, quotient the group by the radical, and uh, and use uh, use the case of a tori. Uh, we we do some uh, diagram chasing and uh, yeah, uh, but uh, to reduce to the anisotropic case, uh, we use some induction by Lewis group. Uh, we can consider some. Uh, we can consider the minimal parabolic. Uh, uh, this is the minimal parabolic. Uh, the, the the minimal the minimality is uh, is very useful because if we consider the Lewis subgroup, uh, then the Lewis subgroup uh, contains no proper parabolic subgroup. So 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 we are almost uh, approach to to the anisotropic because anisotropic is equivalent to uh, tropic. Is equivalent to uh, there is no proper uh, parabolic subgroup, uh, and the the radical of the group uh, contains no uh, contains no GM. So we can reduce to uh, we we can first by uh, by. Uh, mm, the value evaluative criterion to reduce the argument uh, the, the 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 question for the parabolic subgroups, and uh, and uh, and in fact the co the H one cohomology for for the parabolic is isomorphic to the H one uh, for the Lewis subgroup because uh, the unipotent radical is a vector vector uh, subgroup, and uh, by uh, Sears uh, fine criterion it is trivial so we have this. Finally, we reduce to the Lavi group, uh, which contains no proper parabolic, and uh, we quotient by the radical, uh, and uh, we and finally we reduce to the case, and uh, and uh, finally, uh, in in the fourth step, 
So valuation ring is Hanselian of rank one. And uh, uh, so, so V is a Hanselian of rank one, and the G is a semi simple and anisotropic. So we can uh, use some uh, Brohat theory. Brohat theory, by, uh, we first translate uh, the problem into a problem of Galois cohomology and, uh, and, uh, and uh, try to prove the, the co-cycle. If it is trivial, it is trivial uh, in the integral uh, level. So, so that uh, that is uh, what what we do uh, uh, in the in the last step, and uh, finally, uh, after we prove the Grothendieck cycle conjecture over violation rings, uh, in fact, uh, there is uh, another result, uh, which is the Nisnevich's purity conjecture. Uh, this conjecture is proposed in Nisnevich paper uh, concerns about the Grothendieck cycle conjecture in the two-dimensional case. Uh, <clears throat> He proposed the following conjecture uh, for a reductive group scheme G over a regular local ring. We take a regular uh, parameter, uh, which means it's in, max it's in the maximal ideal, but not in the square of the maximal ideal. Uh, then uh, he, uh, he predicts that uh, the Zariski tosser of G over, over this, this guy is trivial. Uh, this con this conjecture is a uh, kind of uh, difficult because uh, if if one can prove this conjecture, uh, somehow it is very approaches to uh, the golden dig set conjecture over general, I mean over over the general regular local ring case. So this conjecture is uh, also uh, open, uh, but uh, now uh, we can try to uh, try to uh, specialize this conjecture. We can you can first consi uh, consider uh, when R is a formal power series ring, where R prime is a regular local. So 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 it is a uh, it is a still a regular local ring, right? So the regular parameter to be uh, to be t to be the the in de determinant. So. Rf inverse is just the Laurent low, low uh, formal power series. Uh, so maybe maybe this case is uh, easier, and uh, and uh, in fact we 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 are considering the variant of when when the R prime is a variation ring, so it's also a variant uh, variant for the special case. So this is the our our uh, result uh, for variation ring. Uh, v and a reductive group scheme uh, G over V. Uh, then every uh, over Laurent uh, formal power series is trivial, uh, which means that uh, this is uh, this is trivial. Uh, to prove this, uh, we use uh, some techniques of uh, reflexive shifts. So first, uh, we uh, consider the we, we embed G into uh, GLN and uh, use some. Uh, I mean, we can we can prove that uh, every vector bundles over this over this uh, Laurent formal power series can extend to a formal power series. So every uh, vector bundle. Mm. Uh, over this Laurent formal power series extends to uh, a vector bundle. Over uh, uh, V double break T. Uh, and we uh, and we also use some uh, diagram tracing and uh, some uh, and we also use our main result, uh, the Golden League cell conjecture uh, over valuation rings, because because in fact we have uh, we, uh, we have the folding isomorphism. This is F isomorphism. Uh, in fact, uh, there is a more general general result uh, given by chess images. If you consider a Hanselian pair uh, and the two uh, reductive group schemes G and G prime or R, uh, if 
if they are uh, isomorphic over over the the quotient, uh, then they are isomorphic. So the, so this is also the also uh, the special case of uh, this. Uh, okay, that that's that's all. Uh, thank you. Okay, so thank you very much. Uh, so there is time for comments and questions. So you can use the chat uh, if you don't have any microphone. Okay, so about the about the last fact, uh, I mean there was a statement by Strano, right? I mean in the literature. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But uh, but in fact, his proof uh, is uh, not uh, true. In fact, uh, but <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. His okay, proof, okay. Yeah. Mm. But but the statement is right. I mean this is uh, okay. Yeah, that's the, the statement is right. Uh, I mean, could you could you say more? I mean, because uh, Bruatis for 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 the people, you know, this is uh, this is for discrete evaluation uh, and serial ring, okay? And if I understand, my understanding is correct, uh, you 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 go uh, you work beyond this case, right? Uh, I mean, sorry? you 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 work with non you you work with non discrete valuation of rank one, right? Yeah, 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 yeah. I'm I'm working with a non -dis discrete of rank one case. And so, what what is the part of Bruatitz which which survives? Uh, uh, you mean you mean uh, okay? If I mean, I, are you are you are you using buildings or? Okay. Okay. Uh, I, I I'm not sure I, if I understand your question. You I I will uh, try to ask me uh, if Brohat T theory is still true for the non-discrete case. No. No. What do you use? What do you use? Because this is not so common, you know. Oh yeah 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 yeah. Uh, I mean you use other. Uh, you, maybe there are other other uh, approaches to uh, to the to the final proof. Uh, but uh, but in fact, I I think the Bruhat theory uh, uh, is is kind of uh, powerful <laughs> because I I learned I learned it I learned it before and I find it uh, quite general and uh, and, uh, and and it holds in many cases. Uh, in fact, uh, their framework in Bruhat theory is quite general for Hanselian valued field in most of the cases. Okay, uh, that is the... okay. Okay, now because you know there there, there, there are work by uh, you know by Izquierdo, Eber, Loisel, you know they, they, they are uh, they are extending Boyatis theory uh, uh, for higher valuations. Uh, I don't know whether what you what your work is related with that. I don't know. Yeah. Oh, uh, I mean, I mean, uh, what I use is just the the last chapter of the Boyatis theory. I mean. Uh, they have two books, right? The second book and the last chapter, they consider the uh, they consider the, uh, consider some uh, some properties of reductive group schemes or um, Hanselian valued field of um, general case. I mean, maybe not discrete, but uh, still useful. Uh, Okay, okay. Thank you. So, other questions? Um, I have one, which is. Uh, yes, please. What about uh, semi local Bezu domains? Is there any chance of extending that to the semi local case? So, it's uh, essentially an intersection of finitely many valuation rings in the same field. Semi local, uh, uh, you mean. Uh... Semi-local valuation rings, or uh, it's a, so you inter so semi-local uh, Bezu domain. Uh, so it's like uh, every, every finitely generated ideal 
is uh, is principal. Yeah, 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 yeah. It doesn't have to yeah. be in a theory, and it, and it is semi-local. So if you intersect uh, finitely many valuation rings in the same uh, field, then you get the semi-local Bazu domain. So there oh, was yeah. a paper by Becky and Van Giel, if I'm not mistaken, uh, dealing with a particular case of the growth index air conjecture over semi-local Bezu domains. Uh, oh. Just for the... Uh, Projective, uh, projective uh, orthogonal, and projective uh, symplectic, and projective unitary. I think projective orthogonal and projective unitary. Yeah. Uh, okay, okay. Uh, that's a good remark. Uh, no, I'm, I'm I'm asking if those techniques can be uh, maybe uh, extended in this manner. Uh, okay. I I don't know because I I uh, haven't. Uh, I, I'm, I'm not uh, know much about uh, their papers and uh, uh, but uh, but maybe um, one can generalize this conjecture to a prefer scheme I mean uh, semi-local prefer oh yeah actually I think the zoo and semi-local the zoo and prefer is essentially yeah yeah yeah, yeah. yeah. the same. Um, Yes, yeah. yes. Reason. Yeah, I think the technique um, can be uh, quite similar. Yeah, uh, I, I think, uh, yeah, yeah. There's a hope to generalize to a semi local prefer scheme. I see. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Mm. Okay. Mm. It, I mean, anyway, in the, in the Torah spot, you have, uh, you, you, you localize. I'm sorry, uh, do I see something? Yeah, okay. Oh. In the Torah spot, I mean, you reduce to the case when it's when it's Encelian. At the beginning, you had this statement. There's, there's something wrong with my, okay, something, wait a minute, there's something wrong with my, ooh, the sound. Just a second. Switch this off. Can you hear me? Uh, yeah, 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 I can't hear you. I, I don't understand what. So in the, I mean, you, you localize here on this page. So you could start with something which is semi-local. Instead, instead of taking the variation ring, you could take a, something which is semi-local. For instance, if you take a finite etal cover of a, of a variation ring, you'll get something which will be semi-local anyway. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, so so uh, the, the proof you have is purely local at, at, uh, at this maximal uh, ideals. uh you mean you mean uh you mean this part yeah this, i mean the, the whole proof of this part yeah when you want to prove that um our torus of our variation ring you know, from h1 vt goes to h1 the refraction field is is injective uh hmm. because the argument is is completely local uh, it would work just as well if you started with a with the, with the ring which was mentioned before that is typically a fine Find it a cover of a variation ring. Uh, yes. Uh, I think uh, so. First, uh, we can uh, we can calculate it that locally, but uh, maybe there are some changement of uh, uh, changement of value groups. I'm not sure because uh, uh, because uh, because semi for for semi uh, semi local uh, semi local valuation rings. I. Uh, the, the value group, uh, I, I, I'm, I don't know how to uh, control that to the behavior. <laughs> Can you hear me? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Well, okay. All right. Maybe uh, our last questions. I don't know. Okay. So, uh, so, so let me uh, thank the speaker again. Uh, thank you. And uh,